Today we're testing two low spin fairy woods, two of the most popular models in 2023, Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond, TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. Kevin is here to hit the shots and we'll show you all of the TrackMan data today. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You give this video a like and then tell us in the comments, which of these two fairy woods do you like better? Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft today, a master club fitter at Second Swing Columbia. Today we're in the tour van at Minnetonka with two low spin fairy wood options for 2023, the Stealth 2 Plus Paradigm Triple Diamond. Um, I know this is especially interesting to you, Kevin, because you are potentially playing one of these this year. So check out the What's in the Bag video if you haven't seen it yet uh, to know which one exactly that is. But uh, Kevin, this should be a good one. Yes. Uh, so we've got two big heavyweights going yeah. head to head. <laughs> we'll see, see how these two come out, right? Uh, low spinning fairway woods typically tend to be for those guys who have pretty good power, create good yeah. trajectory, uh, or guys like me who don't necessarily have great power or great trajectory, but I need a driver replacement on for mm -hmm. a bunch of holes. So um, what we're going to hit today, I've got geared up the way I would normally play it. Uh, go see a fitter, make sure that these are geared the way you need them. Mm -hmm. uh, try them both out, see what you think. There's, uh, there's some differences. Look, feel, sound. Well, we'll see about the performance. Right, right. And ultimately, that's the kicker, right, in all of these fittings. Yep. But um, one thing, too, we should, we should touch on is kind of the, the big weight on the back of that Stealth 2 Plus. I know if you haven't seen our initial string report video on the Stealth 2 Plus, go check it out. But that big weight, we kind of decided was a game changer, right? Because it and that's a lot of weight to be able to move in a club head. I don't think I've seen that much weight in a club head, at least in some time. So with this test, we've got it up forward because I Correct. know you're if, if you're looking for that sort of driver replacement, you'll want, want that as far as you'll possible. want that spin a little lower to yep. chase out there. Yep. Um, but if we were to do some more tinkering with it, and you can wait, move that weight back, and you can yeah. really see we saw in that video some quite difference, uh, uh, quite a bit of a difference in that launch and spin. So Absolutely. something worth noting there with that one. Yeah, I mean we got effectively according to Taylor made 500 RPM yeah. of difference. And definitely it's going to be a different launch window. Putting mm -hmm. all that weight in the back makes the head a little more stable, a little more forgiving. Throwing that weight forward, a little more demanding, mm -hmm. but boy, it's going to press that spin down. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's kind of go through initially what these lofts are stated at and then yep. kind of what they're adjusted to, right? So 15 yep. degrees is the stated loft for each of them. Correct. Triple diamond and stealth 2 plus, but I know yep. you made adjustments to both. Yes. Let's talk through what those are now at. Okay. So based on what the what each cog allows us to do. Right. Uh, the Callaway paradigm started at 15, it's down to 14. We got one degree uh, in, okay. in less loft, can do two uh, degrees higher loft. The Stealth 2 Plus has two degrees of adjustability up and okay. down. So it's gonna be, a, it'll be an interesting fight. Uh, yeah. I do have them pushed all the way down. So it's 13 versus 14. Yep. So ball speed's going to probably end up, ball speed and spin will be the king mm -hmm. here. Sure. sure. Well, you ready to hit some shots here? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Okay. Ooh, good high ball speed right away. Oh my. Oh my. Triple diamond. Down to 14. That's a pretty good start. Yep. Because when I, you adjust I, I, it that way and you're hitting off the tee like this, you're just you want a driver shot essentially. Yep. yep. And that's pretty good driver numbers, right? For there. me, fighting the driver yips, it is all about having a club that I can swing away at mm -hmm. without having this thing get in the way. Right. It's 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 ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Yips are normally cons you know well, it's, thought about for touch shots, right? But here it is and that's Golf is not uh, a good game for the mental, you know, for the, for the. What are you, mental, what are you right? saying, Drew? It's not, <laughs> I'm just saying it in general. I, I, what I'm trying to say is yips are, are normal and yeah. for a lot of players. And yes. So it's not yes. like it's. Nobody's, nobody's, you know, nobody's completely immune to this stuff. I no. had, I had no issues really whatsoever. And I went to bed one night and driver was the best club in my bag. And I woke up the next day and I couldn't hit it anymore. Yeah. What do you do? Well, the fact that you've gotten it back in the bag it, and you can still play it on a lot of holes is yes. already yeah. a remarkable that's, that's stretch. The, but. That's the, the key to, to mm -hmm. my entire golf game, really, is the right. fact that I can hit driver yeah. again. But I think but. even for other players that maybe 
they may or may not have driver yips, but I think there's something to be said about these clubs being able to deal off them and hit them like this, where Absolutely. probably a lot more control, you know, with maybe a little bit more loft than your your normal driver yep. and still hit it like this with yeah. the low spin and chase it out there. Yeah, there's. A yeah. lot of advantage to have that in the bag. There is um, absolutely, and it's uh, it's it's a club that I rely on very heavily. I hit it a lot on the golf course, yeah. and not even not even just on holes that my brain won't let me yeah. hit it. Uh, driver, you know, there's there's a lot of holes where, you know, if it's 400 yards, I don't really need to hit a driver. Yeah. If I'm getting 285 out of a out of a oh, three wood. I've yeah. got 115 yards left. Well, that's a really comfortable, you know, little little sand wedge or gap wedge, just right. depending on what the wind's doing. So um, there's a lot there's a lot of goodness mm -hmm. coming out of this for sure. Let's see if I can repeat that goodness. I think can. <laughs> little in the heel. Okay. Okay. Mm. Drifted a little bit. There's your there's your heel spin rate, right? Yeah, yeah. Not a terrible miss. You know, okay. If this was a hole where I couldn't pull out driver, right? I didn't kill myself there. No, no. You know. There you go. That's more like that first one. Yep. You want to get one more good one like that first sure. one then? Sure. Sure. With the driver, I typically I really don't want to see the ball go left. Yeah. Uh, that's the shot that I've really worked really hard to try to take out of yeah. my repertoire. So seeing that ball turn over is really the shot that I am looking yeah. for because I'm sure. I'm trying to avoid that right side. So yeah, that pretty good ball speed, just kind of over 150. There. <sighs> just hung. I thought that one was actually going to turn a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. There's some speed. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Okay. A little Carry bit numbers more. on both of those two were almost identical. A little tiny bit more spin. I got that one pretty good, I thought. Kind of in, it's, it's, I'm, I'm very curious on this whole spin thing, and I don't know uh -huh. if it's going to maintain throughout the whole test, but so far the spin on those two relatively solid strikes was, a little right? They were yeah. solid strikes. I mean, yeah. the spin's higher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Well, let me just do this while we have the test up. <laughs> Look at those carry numbers. Yep. 257.5, 258.6, 258.6. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Um, but it, it's interesting, though, as we talked about the loft difference and everything, right? The triple yeah. diamond is going further so far. A little hotter and a little lower spin. So... Deep dive. We got a little more club head speed off the paradigm. We did. Ball speed was up, but it was predictably up because smash factor on both was 147. Yep. So they're both being struck the same way. A tad more spin, right? Uh, overall, if I got the club head speed here to 104, I believe we'd be very, very similar. Mm -hmm. So. And one thing I'll ask, I mean, I guess the club speed, the club speed isn't that different. It's about 1.2 miles yeah. an hour. Um, so we got as close as we could with the kind of shaft offerings that TaylorMade yes. and Callaway provide with these clubs. Yep. So Kylie Red with the TaylorMade and Ventus Red with the Triple Diamond. Um, so maybe slight difference there, but otherwise, I think the, the, the thing that I'm looking at is the launch angle. And I thought I saw it when you were hitting. Mm -hmm. 16 to 13.4. It was interesting. That's interesting. Now, maybe off the turf, we see something different, but. Okay, attack angle, a little bit shallower. Sure. Or sorry, a little, it is a little shallower, yes, in the uh, in the paradigm, which is interesting. That's just, that's a function of me more than the golf club. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's it's interesting. Path's I, about the same. Height was actually lower with, with the paradigm. Right. I mean, yeah, like, it's just, I, it's just, it just seems like, again, off the tee, the Paradigm yeah. Triple Diamond's functioning more as that chaser. Yeah. Which is, yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting, I guess. I, that's the, I don't know if it'll 
you know, translating to the off the turf testing here, but let's let me make let's let's try one other thing with this. Okay. Let me throw a different shaft in here. Okay. And let's see. And off the tee. Yes. I like that. I let's like that. Okay. Let's see if I okay. can create that. Okay. Okay. Difference. So if I had if I were in a fitting with myself <laughs> and I were trying to achieve that lower mm -hmm. launch and lower spin that we saw with the with the paradigm triple diamond um, I would just swap shaft and see if that doesn't do yeah, it yeah okay us. okay so Kylie white 70 stiff a um, little lower launching lower right. spinning shaft sure so let's see if this let's see, see yeah. if this I'm does curious it, right? Yeah, I am too. Actually. That's one thing we haven't done a lot of in the testing on these on this channel. With like, we haven't mid test kind of like this do okay. a swap, and yeah. I, I like the idea of yeah. trying to match them up a little bit more. Here. Sure. Didn't quite catch that one. Got up under it a little bit. Well, I mean that kind of okay. works for yeah, the it, sake it, of the. It does. It kind of works because it does did launch a little lower than yep. the previous one, but not as low. There's some speed. Mm -hmm. 14 on the launch, but the spin went up. Probably a Was little that in the heel. Face location? Probably, yeah, probably a little bit in the heel there. Okay. One thing I will say on this is I'm not as aware of where the ball is coming off the face mm -hmm. with this one. Okay. That was probably in the heel, I'm guessing by what the numbers indicate, but I couldn't really okay tell. so kind of the feel response is a yes. little bit it's a little it's a little harder feeling okay than the paradigm, the paradigm. yeah got yeah that was hit hard okay now we're talking okay there now we, we are talking all right let's do one more swing here yeah okay okay so cool. i think we figured something out there. yeah we, we did so the, we'll take out the heel shot here yep. And then that becomes this. So, yeah, we kind of, I think we, we, yeah, we figured something out. Kevin figured something out here. So I can almost remove all these shots, but so, but, but still interesting. Yeah. Is that that is still at 13 degrees. Correct. Paradigm triple diamond is at 14. Yep. So you, while you gained some yards, lowered the spin, lowered the launch, everything with that shaft, mm -hmm. it's still not quite as, again, the distance is, is roughly the same, yeah. but it's still a higher law or degree of loft with the paradigm. So it is. that paradigm one is still a little bit hotter it than is. the stealth two plus. And by virtue of the loft, it is then also a tiny bit more forgiving too. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Hmm. Interesting. So do we Very. think that will play the same way off the turf? That's gonna be very interesting. Yeah. That's gonna be I don't there's no there's there's no little safety zone there of having that thing up on the tee now. So, uh, yeah, lower loft may very well come more into play off the deck than it does mm -hmm. off the tee. Sure, that's okay. I'm prepared for that. That sounded really good. Might be a little left. Not much left. Okay, cool. Interesting. That's a heck of a shot, though. Thank you. I mean. Look at that attack spin, angle. That, that is how you optimize fairy wood off the turf is by a 0, 0.0 attack angle. Ooh. There it is. Mm -hmm. 100 feet in the air, 3,000 spin. Off the deck? I'm not sure what else that. you want. I, I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I want. I mean, that's that's... <laughs> That's exactly what I want from a from a fairway wood off yeah. the off the deck. Something yeah. that performs like this did off the tee and gives me a hundred feet coming, you know, coming into the greens. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All day long. Right. All day long. That was struck well too, it sounded like. Yep. Yep. Okay. 119 feet, 253 carry off the deck. I'll take yeah. that all day. Even though it was a little tiny bit of a hanger, I'll take that bit, all day. A little bit. So we've got, this is including the, the one that you kind of hit heel-wise yeah, here. But, yeah. Um, you know, 242 carry, 263 okay. total. Yeah. 
And naturally, of course, as you hit one off the turf or it's off the tee, you're going to lose a little bit, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's still a function. I mean, those are that's really good stuff. Yeah, um, I've got no complaints. Triple diamond. I got so. no complaints. All right. Very versatile all around. Yeah. So let's okay. try the old stealth here. Okay. Definitely launched low. Yep. Okay. Probably in the same spot as my first Callaway swing, actually. Yeah, probably a little heel. Yep. There it is. There it is. I can tell this time. That's better. Oh, it's not better. That's a. That's interesting. I, had, I haven't seen you hit a fade that actually curves that much. So this was a conversation I had with one of the reps was that the biggest challenge that faces me with TaylorMade and trying to create the parameters that I'm looking for, I expressed earlier, I, I want to see the ball turn over. I don't mm -hmm. want to miss right with the three wood because right is my miss with the driver. TaylorMade, when you're going down in loft, you're opening the face. Right. So the thing that I'm trying to avoid is kind of the situation that I'm creating. Yeah. So I got to work better. It's up to me not to do that. Sure. Because the club's not going to help me at all. Right. And if I want to go upright, I can go upright to help square it up, but then I also can't get down. But then you can't do the, loft. Yeah, you, have, you can't. You certainly can't play at 13 degrees. No, no. I mean, it's 13.5, but still. Ooh. How about one so far out of the heel that it had to go left? She's just not coming together with this one. Well, so, all right, this is a good comparison then. It, it is. Because it is. if you're at this point in the video and you did watch Kevin's What's in the Bag, this isn't a huge surprise to you given what he talked about as the club in his bag yeah. after driver. Yep. So, triple diamond. Triple diamond. Yeah. Only difference was we're on the standard triple standard triple diamond. I have the 13.5, which I then down. have cranked down so that it's actually lower than this one. Yeah. But I also have it on the draw setting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to run those things independently is good for yeah. me because, again, we start pushing that loft down and it gets harder and harder to right, square Right, right. So you're able, so. with the Callaway cog, you're able to yep. Yep. do draw yeah. and move it down. and Absolutely. That was poked. That was the best one. Okay. Still losing it. Still losing it to the right. Yeah. So we have a lot of data here, right? Yeah. Let's just kind of – I'm going to break it up into um, – two here so we can kind of see the map and see that so now this was the stealth two we hit with the previous shaft i'm just almost going to remove this right? yeah because we realized yeah, that, that was not the shaft we yep. should need for this test nope, to get that one did not it did not okay. measure up we yep. made the change Kylie white so that was we the shaft to, to that we were up. looking yep, for here for sure so, and then with paradigm we're moving it down one degree in loft with taylor maybe we did with two okay so we've got our uh, the top two up here, the green and the red, are off the turf. And we talked about off the tee a little bit already. So off the turf, we saw the TaylorMade go much lower in spin yep. and lower in launch. Yep. So it's I, I really think overall it seems like Paradigm's kind of just the winner in both certain both cases here. I mean, you look at you look at the numbers and the the carry numbers are are identical both off the tee and in, in yeah. and off the deck, right? But then it comes down to where is it going? How are you How using it? How high is it going? Yeah. What do you feel most comfortable with? Mm -hmm. Right. So for me, you know, the height was definitely uh, a little better with the paradigm. Yeah. And if I'm hitting it off the deck, I want more spin. Mm -hmm. I actually want to be able to hopefully have that ball stop if I'm flying it to the front of a par, right. par five into mm -hmm. Um, yeah, because so. hitting it, the actually, it's funny that the actually the highest average peak height of this entire test was you hitting off the turf with the Paradigm Triple Diamond. That is weird. Yeah. That is weird. Um, now, granted, if we were to hit a long range of sure. shots and 
um, you're able to do that, it might be a little bit different, but yeah. I still think it's worth noting that the ease of which it was for you to hit the paradigm triple diamond off the turf, Absolutely. get it high enough. Yep. And then it was also, you know, so as a, as a T-ball chaser, right? Uh, just so more effect, so much more effective, even yep. at a higher loft than you were using with the TaylorMade. Yep. I think that's worth noting as well. Yeah. So um, I think some pretty good testing here. I think mm -hmm. this might be the first time we've ever done a fairywood test, but included both off the tee and off the turf. So okay. nice. uh, thank you for doing that. Sure. Um, sure. I think, I mean, again, Paradigm Triple Diamonds are really, really hot, explosive, but versatile. Fair. It is. It is. And they're, I mean, they're both versatile. Don't, don't get me wrong. And just because my preference for one, that means only anything to me, really. Right. Um, come in, test them both. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's, let's see what, what anybody else yeah. wants. Yeah. Right. And it's uh, just because I play that one, I am not biased towards that club whatsoever. Yeah. Because what works for me may not work for somebody else. Right. But we saw how things can change just through a shaft change, yep. right? And, you know, making some adjustments to the loft or lie angle or whatever, we can we can get people dialed in yep. exactly and where they want to. We didn't even move that weight on the, on the sole either. Nope. So that's something nope. that, you know, we've done a little bit uh, uh, in the original Spring Report video, we tested some of that. But as Kevin said, come in and get fit for one of these two fairy woods if you need one. Uh, these are both really explosive. They're gonna give you a bunch of distance and speed. Uh, just make sure you get the one that's right for your swing in your bag. So Kevin, thanks for the testing. Absolutely. Really good sure. stuff today. Um, a lot of information for the viewers out there. Yeah, yeah, good stuff.